Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back. We are doing my February kit lineup and it's a whole month of pink and red, obviously. <laughs> We're gonna start off with the monthly, which is the Caress Press February monthly. I think this is from last year. Yes, because um, this is an exclusive Cherry Bomb art and I used this as my week of Valentine's last year, so I didn't pick up the monthly of it. Um, but I was like, well, you know, I was buying, pre-buying some monthlies from Caress Press and I really like this art and I love the cherry theme and the diner. So I thought, hey, I'll just use this again, but in the monthly this year. So I just picked up with the checklist because I do like a functional monthly. I do pre-plan it as you know, it will be my first video of Feb on my channel. Um, and I'm about to actually film after this one. <laughs> But we've got some really lovely art here, and I love the Cherry Coke especially. I do love Cherry Coke flavors. I think my favorite is Dr. Pepper though. Uh, Dr. Pepper Cherry. Yeah, such cute art. I love it so much. So that'll be in my monthly, in my inserts this month. But let's get into the kits. So we have week six starting with February 5th. So of course, if you've watched my January lineup, my last week in January, which is actually uh, in the February planner. Yes, it's in the February month because this is obviously the end of Jan, but I include it in January and this was my um, Winter Kisses art that was um, like, so it's romantic themed, I feel like, but winter. So I thought that was a good cusp set. But for the first full week of Feb, we are using Cozy Valentine from Caress Press. Just a really cute and also leads into that like um so we've got super wintry with a little romance and this is super romance with a little wintry because you have the fireplace and the little blanketed people so i thought that was a really good transition um kit as well we're further transitioning <laughs> um but i picked up the red bottom washi we have a free toolbox, but I don't think I'll be using that because I did pick up the same bedroom, but with the white bedding in the full box. And I don't think I have any toolbox overlays pulled out, so. These are the pretty colors. I also feel like these colors, um, they start to blend into next week's spread with the pink and purple on the end, so <laughs> I thought that'd be cute as well. Just an adorable eating popcorn. Popcorn has been one of our big snacks at the moment because it's a bit healthier. So I love popcorn. But yeah, that is the whole kit. I love the kisses and the bottom washi. So I am pairing this with silver. I'm doing gold for this one and then you'll see the rest of my foils. Um, but yeah, so doing gold, so I thought I'll do silver. I chose this after choosing my other foils for this month, so. I have a different foil every week here. So I'm using the Caress Press Cupid foil bundle. I don't know if she reformatted this. This is the old bundle style. So you just have the eight boxes here with a lot of love hearts and like the, the arrow and the little Cupid. Then this is the old like Bonawashi page, the little Cupids. So cute with the um, glitter head of overlays. Overlays. <laughs> overlays. Then you have like the old scripts and icons and things, but um, this page is good for the whole reinforces and also the numbers. And then we just have a classic bougie, all in silver. But the way I plan at the moment, I'm still using, I, I need more than the three um, special headers uh, overlays. So I picked, a, picked out from my stash these Sadie Stickers Heart ones. I don't know, I think I'll use the filled in hearts because they are filled in cupids as the special headers. And then I have these Caress Press um, heart overlays just a la carte and they perfectly match. They're a little bit smaller than the one in the bundle, but because I use eight, um, I use 10 boxes and there's only eight in the bundle, I needed to get at least two extra boxes out. So I picked those up and they will all go together so beautifully. So that is for the first week of Feb, Cozy Valentine. And then for the week of February 12th, and this is obviously Valentine's week, I'm using my art like a rose, 
which I feel like has both like both romantic elements but also feels very girly and cute so I like the addition the both of them together and I just love this colorway I got a each girl I don't know if I want to use all three of them or not because I do like the other boxes but it's good to have the options I have this medium pink as the bottom washi extra but yeah I just live for these colors <laughs> and you have the hearts and the butterflies in this one a bit more feminine as I said in my haul um, we got everything in here in this bottom washi so this was really hard because it, um, Andrea, when the week that we released like I, I released like a rose, and Andrea used, released as well. She brought out two foil bundles that would match perfectly. One's orchid, and then there's this one, which is a sparkly pink. Um, I showed you in the haul, but if you didn't watch my haul, here is the sparkly pink under my torch, because you know studio lights. But it's super pretty. And it was really hard. I literally just had the kit lying out, all the pages, had both foil bundles next to it like this, and I was just like, I don't know which. So Orchid isn't sparkly, it's just a shiny foil, and it's um, like a mix of this pink and this purple, so it's a bit more purple leaning. But I can't say no to a sparkly foil, and it's just, I feel like this one goes too. I don't know if I'm gonna regret, like it's too much of a pink to go with this set. But, I don't know. In person, I love the depth of it. I think it's, I think it goes. And it brings out more of these darker colors in the on as well. I don't know. I'm going out on a limb with this one. I hope it turns out well. Um, I will say, at least in this, um, the bougie boxes are very fine in this bundle. So, I don't think it'll be too much in that regard. So I could always like pare it down, like I won't do all of the, I might not do the glitter header overlays, that might be a thing to like um, bring down the pink a bit. And when I want to bring it down a bit, I might not use all the full boxes, I won't use the glitter headers, um, but I will use the bougie, I will use all the scripts and icons, and I'll use the bottom washi and numbers and, and the confetti, but that, that's like it if I try to make it a bit more minimal. But that is what we're doing for Valentine's week. Nothing too crazy, but I think the fun foil is just super cute. And then for the next week, week 8, February 19th, we are using um, November Mystery from last year. And this is sort of our Valentine's girl party, just cheers, cheers babe kind of kit. <laughs> it's just a cute little party for all the ladies. Well, and I mean all the ladies. I thought it was really cute. I love the full box that I did with the popcorn there with the flowers. Sort of more of a proper um, little scene. No boys allowed. I've um, got the chocolate plate, the donuts. I think it's really cute. It's also really good like if you're um, single for Valentine's as well. This would be a great set for you. But I think it's so pretty. And I love like uh, the sparkles with the rose petals as the bottom washi. It's just so flirty and fun and sparkly. The fashion girl's there. And I think this came with a champagne lights, but I am using champagne lights in the next week. So I decided to go with rose, and I mean like rose, not rose gold. <laughs> this is the OG rose. Um, I thought that would match really well. Like it's pretty much the same pink. And I feel like after the deep pink of the week before, this will be a nice lighter spread. So I am using a foil bundle with this, and this is the floral, I think it's called floral foil bundle. Foil bundle. What am I saying? <laughs> but you just have some really like um, low key glitter head overlays, and you have these beautiful flower designs. And I probably won't use all of it, um, it's just for little, little touches here and there but this is an old bundle so you do have the old scripts and icons oh and the bottom one she's really pretty as well i like that too um, i definitely love the look of the that floral across the bottom so i think it'll be really like flirty and girly and just to go with it i picked up uh, i picked up <laughs> i fished out some rose um 
hull protectors from Andrea from SBC. Which ones am I going to use? Um, oh, there's hearts, so I'm going to use the heart ones because I might as well add a little extra in there. But yeah, it's just that, just simple, not too over the top um, foil for that one. But I think it'll be really nice, like, difference to the very bright and super pink previous week. We'll have a little bit of a breath. Take a little breath there. And then for the last week of February going into March 3rd, we have June Mystery 2023. And this is sort of our glam old Hollywood. It's got a mix from 20s to 50s Hollywood in here. I just love the look overall of the different styles together. But yeah, we have this glam Hollywood set. And I think it's because in March, the Oscar, it's the Oscars, although... Oh no, I, like, I'm not obsessed with the Oscars and I feel like they totally snubbed Margot Robbie. Like Barbie's, like Margot Robbie is part of the, the biggest two emotional hits of the film and she doesn't get nominated. I don't know, it's a mess to me. <laughs> but I'm mostly rooting for Oppenheimer, I guess, and Killers of the Flower Moon. Um, and Barbie should totally get production design. But anyway, <laughs> stop going on. Um, yeah, so I decided, I thought this would be nice. It's another pink set, um, another girly, and I love the like old glamour feels for the end of Feb, but it also kind of leads into that Oscar feeling of March. I don't think, I think Oscars is a couple of weeks after. I think it's the same week as my cat's birthday, so we're not doing it that week. I've got, I'm using a birthday set for my cat. <laughs> but yeah, can you blame me? But anyway. Yeah, so that's what I'm using for the last week of Feb. I just love these girls. They're so beautiful and the pearls and the furs kind of in the satin bed. And we've got like LA palm trees in the background. Just super pretty vintage glab. We've got a little bit of an art deco pattern going on and some like, um, like lace and whatnot. Well, this sparkly ham with the um, the champagne tower. But these are the extras. Oh, I don't know which girls I'm going to use. They're also pretty. Oh, yeah, we got two lots of extra girls. <sighs> it's going to be difficult. I'm afraid I don't think I'm going to use the toolbox because I want to use my full 10 boxes. Because I would love to get all three of these girls in. Hmm. And then there's still so much. I might not even use the double box. Like we could just use the top of the bed maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'd give up some of the flat lays for it. But I say Oscars because I did include Oscars in the art, but it's just here in the little deco. <laughs> Cause that, you know, that, that's what it felt like as well. All, old Hollywood with the, the statuette. And this came with the Champagne Lights bundle in um, the shimmer format. So I'm like, I'm just going to use this because it's perfect. It's shimmery Hollywood stars. So that's what I'm going to use for that. And I just pulled out some Champagne Lights um, hole protectors. I think I've used the shimmer design of these already, but I might just use Twinkle or Star or something. Sparkle. Either of those, you all of those work. So... It's just a whole protector. <laughs> but that's what I've got for the last week of Feb, and that's what I've got for February. I know it's pretty simple, <laughs> but I feel like it's a good colorway of like pinks and reds. I don't know. I really like the way they, the lineup came out. I bought these two new, and then I had these in my stash. I'm like, well, they're pink, and they're, they're fun and flirty, so I think I'm gonna use them, you know? I know I was tossing and turning a little bit with Valentine's for a while there. I had a Sailor Moon kit in here with a different, completely other anytime kit. But I was like, but you know, I wanted to be pink this month. So I went back to these um, because I didn't end up with any other Valentine's stuff this year. Um, I don't know. I guess I just didn't. I'm actually wondering, like, I always feel like I've, the last two years I've been a bit low on Valentine's, and that's probably my own interest, you know. I guess not everything I like, but I don't know. So maybe I should draw two Valentine's for next year, so I'm a little bit more set up for myself. 
But also, I, you never know what art will come out, because you never know. Because I love this cozy Valentine art. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Valentine's month was, February was hard for me this year, but... Oh, and there was a kit I did buy from Crest Press. I talked about this in my haul, but you haven't, if you haven't watched it, because it's an hour long, um, I, I ordered the J'adore kit, which was old Valentine's art um, that Maggie re-released. And I ordered that with Cyber Monday Mystery on Cyber Monday. And that package got lost by my mail forwarder. And they refunded me, blah, blah, blah. And when I went, I reordered Cyber Monday, but I forgot to reorder the Valentine's art. So I don't have that kit. So I could have had three in here that were newer, but that is okay. I like my lineup and I'm looking forward to all the pink and sparkly goodness. But yeah, that's it. Let me know. Are we doing any twinning? I assume probably these two kits maybe. Although, are you using any of these mysteries for this month? Let me know. Because I think they're so cute and pretty. But otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye.